it'd be like three people in a smart car where one of you has to get naked and go to the bathroom in front of everybody else. Early on in the space program, the flights were so short that there were no toilet facilities at all. You just held it, right? You, you know, you can wait a few hours. Pretty soon we realized that you need to have some sort of basic capability. And so you could have a catheter or you could wear a diaper. But then you stay up long enough that, you know, it's not just liquids, but it's solids. And now you need some sort of way to, to, to defecate in space. And so on the way to the moon, those ships were so weight critical that there was no toilet in them at all and the way we dealt with it was you have multiple enemas before you go to orbit but after a couple days you still have to go and so then there's just plastic bags you take all your clothes off and you hold a plastic bag against your rear end and just go in a plastic bag be like three people in a smart car where one of you has to get naked and go to the bathroom in front of everybody else it's disgusting but it was it was a compromise when we started going to space for longer like on the space shuttle, and of course with, with mixed crews, men and women, it just was an impractical solution. And also, um, it's not very hygienic. So for the space shuttle, we designed a, a toilet, and in place of gravity, the toilet uses airflow. So you sit on the toilet, it's got sort of like a seat belt arrangement, you know, so you don't float away. The liquids, you just pee into a tube with suction, just in a funnel or an adapter, so that it, the female astronauts just have an adapter that fits up against their body and then it it, uh, it goes into a sewage tank. The solids go into a separate tank and storage. On the shuttle we expose that tank to the vacuum of space so that it kills all the bacteria so it doesn't even stink. And the liquid on the space station, rather than just storing it in a sewage system, we run it through a recycler. I think about 93% of the liquid, which is urine and humidity and, and any other uh, wastewater, uh, gets run through centrifuges and filters and processors and turns back into drinking water. And it sounds disgusting, but it's exactly the same as on Earth. You know, every time you go to the bathroom here, it doesn't magically disappear. It goes into somebody's sewage treatment system.